relationship between these two countries. U.S. official. Russian President Vladimir Putin is in North Korea for a meeting with its leader, and it is a meeting the U.S. officials are watching closely. Rebecca Castor has more. North Korea rolling out the red carpet for Russian President Vladimir Putin as he arrives in Pyongyang Tuesday for a two-day visit. His first to the isolated nation in 24 years, and one U.S. officials are watching closely. We're not concerned about the trip. What we are concerned about is the deepening relationship between these two countries. U.S. officials say North Korea is supplying the Russian military with ballistic missiles and other munitions for its war in Ukraine. And they expect Putin will ask for more during his visit. They need North Korea artillery to carry on their war in Ukraine. And for that, they're willing to trade not only military technology and intelligence, but they're also going to confer a diplomatic top cover on North Korea. Ahead of his arrival, Putin published an op-ed in North Korean state media thanking Kim Jong-un for supporting his actions in Ukraine and saying the two leaders would work together to overcome U.S.-led sanctions imposed on both countries. He's concerned about World War III, and he's assembling the coalition where he can enable third parties to target both U.S. homeland and allies such as South Korea. Russia is under new pressure on the war front after President Biden recently gave the go-ahead for Ukraine to use U.S. weapons to strike inside Russia under limited circumstances. Germany followed suit, which Putin warned is a dangerous move. Tensions on the Korean Peninsula are also running high after South Korea's military said it fired warning shots at North Korean soldiers who temporarily crossed the border for a second time this month. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox 32 Chicago. Is the book of Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord, all caps, that's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. First and foremost, Kahalal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakat Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well while I learned the truth. Peace and blessings to the whole for elect. Once again, Shalom. So, the script I just read. Zechariah 14 and 12, it talks about their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. So you standing on your feet and your flesh is consuming away. Okay. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. All while you standing on your feet. So your eyes going to consume away in their holes and their tongues. Okay. Your tongue shall consume away in their mouths, in their mouth. Now, what can cause that to happen? All right. I'm going to show you. So we just heard they talking about World War Three, right? And what you're looking at here, North Korea nuclear weapons, okay? ICBM, as you can see, right up here on the right side at the top. ICBM, okay? Now, we got Russia and North Korea clicking up with each other, okay? Look at this stuff. Look at these missiles. These are nukes. These are nuclear weapons. Okay. 
Now I say, well, what can cause that? All right, what can cause uh what can cause a person's tongue to consume away in his mouth or can or cause your skin to consume away while you stand on your feet? That what they say right there. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. Come on, man. That's talking about a nuclear blast. That's talking about a nuclear blast. Blowing all your skin off you. Okay. Melting your skin off you. Okay. That's what that's talking about. All right. That's all they could be talking about. Nothing else. But you people who don't believe. Okay. You unbelievers. Keep on thinking it's a game. But this is what this is what's happening right now. This is why you have uh North Korea and Russia clicking up. They about they getting prepared. They getting prepared for the final war, Armageddon. All right, they get ready. World War Three, and they gonna nuke this place. Okay. Yep. They gonna nuke this place. Yep. Let's get it. Let's see. Yep, that's what's gonna happen. Okay. We got another one. Let's get uh that's what that's referring to, man. You standing on your feet. And your skin consuming off your, while you stand on your feet, off your body. That's what that's talking about. And here's another one talking about the exact same thing. This is the uh, book of Second Peter, uh, chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. That great noise is them ICBMs, nuclear missiles. Okay? When they shoot those missiles off, coming from Russia, places like Russia, North Korea, and whoever else, okay? That's what it's, it's going to be a great noise. All them, them missiles going off. All right, you're going to hear those missiles flying. You're going to have those uh, nuclear warning sirens going off. Okay, you're going to have a bunch of people crying and screaming. All right, because they know they about to, they know they about to uh, die. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Okay, so that's what we just read over here in Zechariah. Let's go back to it. Let's go back to it. Let's go back to Zechariah 14 and 12, right? Yep. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord, okay, all caps, that's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who you ignorantly call God, will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Who is Jerusalem? The Israelites. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Come on, man. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. 
why they on their feet and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Why they on their feet? Okay, you're gonna be standing up, okay, in a split second when that when that missiles, when that fervent heat, okay, when that fervent heat hits you. All right. Let's go back to Second Peter. The fervent heat, man. That means it's extremely hot. Wait a minute. That means extremely hot. Second Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, those missiles, and the elements, everything is made out of elements, okay? Everything. Everywhere you look around you is made, everything around you is made out of an element, okay? Shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up, okay? These is what you got coming to you if you do not repent. Okay, you need to repent if you even stand a chance to make it out of this nuclear destruction. Okay, the Bible's not going to just up and say, oh, it's going to be nuclear bombs. If you got if you got any wisdom and you can look and you can see what this is saying. Okay. That's what this that's what this is saying. Okay, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Burnt up. Okay, not not, not it's going to be a, a knocked down, you know. No, bro, burnt up with fervent heat from these things. Okay. From these things, these nuclear ICBM missiles. Look at that. Okay. There he go right there. Or uh, Kim Kim Jong Un, right there. That's the same guy. Okay. China su uh, su supported sanctions on North Korea's nuclear. All right. That's who Vladimir Putin just uh, met up with. Okay, right here. Russian President Vladimir Putin is in North Korea for yeah. a meeting with its leader, and it is a meeting. They're shaking hands. All right, and they ain't been, they ain't been cool like that. Uh, Vladimir Putin ain't been to North Korea in 24 years, or uh, something like that. Yeah, like 24 years. He ain't been to North Korea. Ain't been over there hanging out with them or nothing. Now, all of a sudden, they shaking hands, okay? These guys got ICBM nuclear missiles, all right? And the Lord is preparing these guys and getting their minds, getting their minds uh, set on destroying Babylon, a.k.a. Sodom and Egypt, okay? All right? He's getting their minds ready to destroy this place with these. Now, I don't know about you, but this is scary. And if you don't fear a nuclear blast, there's something wrong with you. All right, something seriously wrong. Look, North Korea's uh, strategic nuclear threat. Look at all these missiles they got. These are the missiles that they got over there. And they ain't just on this graph. You can see them. Okay, look at this. This dude's standing right in front of one. There he is right there. Kim Jong-un right there with the sunglasses on in the middle. All black. These guys, they don't have these missiles just for show. Okay, look at that. They don't have those missiles just to be sitting over there looking pretty. Okay. Even when you see a peop a person or a group 
you know, thugs, gangs, whatever, when they get their guns and they pointing them and taking pictures of them, putting them on the, on the internet, eventually those guns get used. Them same guns that they put in those pictures, okay, with the threats, okay, because that's all this is. This is this is threats. These are threats, subliminal threats, okay. They don't got to say nothing. Look at it. This is saying, oh, I blow your ass up. Same way the thugs with the gun in hand. Hey, man, I'll, I'll take you out of here. I'll shoot you up, right? This right here is saying, oh, I'll blow your ass up. Is it not? Okay. That's what they're saying. So, hey. They all they don't they don't uh, uh pass the bill on the draft military draft for uh uh men between the ages of eighteen and twenty six or just healthy if you're healthy they're gonna draft you if you if you you know if you fit they're gonna draft you all right straight up. So fervent heat, all right, fervent heat, these right here, this is what's going to make that lake of fire, okay? When I said, Second Peter 3 and 10, but the day of the Lord, okay, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Okay, burnt up. But you guys don't want to fear the Lord, though. All right, you guys don't want to repent. All you guys out here mocking. You're getting in all these damn uh, 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 secret societies. Okay. You're doing all kind of wickedness and, and, you know, making fun of the name, saying you don't got to you don't got to say the name. Yeah, you do. You need to you need to give reverence. OK, you need saying the name is showing that you fear the Lord. Saying the name Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is showing that you fear the Lord. You're giving reverence to the name. OK. You need to have a healthy fear of the Lord or else this right here could, well, most definitely is going to be you. These elements, you are an element, okay? Your body is made of elements, all right? All right, if you read, uh, uh, I believe it's in the book of Genesis, okay, it talks about, a man being made from the dust, okay, from the dust of the ground. That's an element, okay? Those are elements. All right? You, you got uh, 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 water in your body. That's an element, okay? Your body has a certain amount of water, H2O. That's an element, okay? All right. Matter of fact, let's get that Zachariah one more time. It's going to be perfectly clear here. You are elements. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague. What's the plague? Those ICBM nuclear missiles. Wherewith the Lord, all caps, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Okay, in the Hebrew, that's his name, is not God, will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Okay, you see, that's an element. If, if all the elements are melted with fervent heat. That includes you too. All right. 
and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouths. Man, every time I hear that, man, that shit scared the hell out of me. Okay, it's hot outside right now. We got a heat wave going through uh, this region, right? And you can open up your car and just feel the heat come out your car. And it's so hot. And, you know, you can be standing outside. If you don't got a hat on your head, you can just feel the heat from the sun. Okay? From the sun. And it burns like crazy. I mean, burns like crazy. All right? Let's look up the temperature of these missiles. And then I'm going to wrap it up. Look at that. At the center of a nuclear missile warhead, the temperature can reach about 100 million degrees Celsius, 200 million degrees Fahrenheit within a few millionth of a second after detonation. God, just think about this. Just imagine that, okay? What happened? Did it stop? Oh, no, it didn't stop. So lock you. But just imagine that. Man, this is about four to five times mm -hmm. the temperature at the center of the sun. Four to five times the temperature of the sun. You not scared of that? You're not scared of the Lord. And this is what the Lord talking about doing to everything. All the elements. That mean the, the, the animals, the trees, the water, hell, the air. Everything getting punished when the Lord come back. Okay? Everything. You see? But you're not, you know, you, nobody's not afraid of that. It's just mind blowing to me, like, is that people don't understand this, and every, you know, everyone still think that the the Lord of the by the God of the Bible is all nice and friendly, and He's gonna come rapture all the good people up, and all this old stuff. No, He's not coming to do none of that. He's coming for the remnant of Israel, the elect. Those are the only ones who are gonna get salvation. Everyone else. Unbelievers, wicked ass Israelites, uh, two thirds, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, so called white man Esau. These are all gonna get. All you guys are gonna get fucking burnt, just burnt to death. Okay, straight up. Look at that. A hundred million degrees Celsius. Man, that that make me scared just even reading it. And I know, like I just said, I open up my car door and I can feel the heat coming out my car and it just be so hot. Have you ever tried to like just sit in your car when it, without letting that, that hot air out? Now just imagine that nuclear blast coming towards you and you standing there and it's like, the they ain't even, they ain't even touched you yet. Okay, the sun is way up in the uh in the sky and it's burning the hell out of you. This thing here, these things here get to four to five times the temperature of the center of the sun, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You gotta fear the Lord. Okay? You got to. I don't know how how you how could you even not fear. Mm -hmm. Someone who who's who's talking about burning your fucking eyeballs out of your head and your tongue out of your mouth while you standing there? Yeah, man. Fear the Lord for real. And I got one more and I'm out. Let's get uh Job 28, Job 28 and 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord 
This is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Shalom.